Hi folks, Kevin Towers of Canadian Energy East in Trenton, Ontario. With me today is Randy Anderson, our technical guru from head office. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about your golf cart battery maintenance over the course of the summer uh, usage period. Um, lots of things to consider when buying a set of batteries for your cart. Um, it's quite an investment, but if, if properly maintained and cared for, it can last you five to seven years quite easily. Uh, Randy? Good, thank you. So one of the first things we want to do is uh, when, we're, when we're checking our batteries is we want to wear the protective, uh, proper protective safety equipment. Um, remember there's sulfuric acid in the battery so you know that burns clothes and, and causes damage to, uh, to surfaces. So we want to be careful we're not splashing acid out. So one of the things again to check for is terminal corrosion. You want to, you want to keep those terminals clean and shiny uh, you know with a wire brush. Uh, there's, there's, there's several ways of doing it and, and there's, there's things available to keep corrosion down. But what we're going to talk about is, is checking levels in, in batteries. So one of the common myths is that the batteries need to be filled right to the top. So we see, we see an issue there the batteries getting overfilled. So in, in any deep cycle battery you're going to get a lot of water loss so you need to check them on a regular basis and you need to make sure that they're not underfilled or overfilled. So, so what you do is, you know, some of the cases are black, you can't see in that well so maybe you're going to need a flashlight. But you want to make sure that the plates are covered in the battery. So you need, you know, a quarter inch, half an inch of electrolyte covering the plates in the battery. Before you charge the battery, you need to make sure that those plates are covered and that add water to them. Never add electrolyte to a battery, you always want to add water because the sulfuric acid doesn't lose its, its strength. And that's distilled water, right? right? Yeah, so, so typically you don't want to... You don't want to put any contaminants in there, i.e. if you know, you've got your water is high in minerals uh, or iron. So you want, to, you want to keep that water as pure as possible going in there. So I normally say that you know, if, it's, if it's bottled water, reverse osmosis, something like that, um, it, it's probably clear enough water, clean enough water to put in. So, so you don't want any contaminants going in the battery. If it was to happen once or twice, it's probably not an issue, but if you were to, to, to do it on a regular basis, you know, it's going to have some impact on, on the performance of the battery. Uh, several different ways of doing it. This is a, this is a jug that's specifically designed for, for topping up batteries. So it actually shuts off when, when the level reaches uh, the top and it, it's spring loaded so that the, uh, the water quits, uh, quits running in so you don't spill all over. Um, so, so again, it's important that you don't overfill the batteries. So, if, if in doubt, if, if you think the batteries need charging, only put enough water in them that the plates are covered. Uh, you, again, you don't want those plates exposed and dried out because when that happens, you lose capacity on, on the battery. So if you think the battery needs, needs uh, charging, just put enough electrolyte in that, that the plates are covered. And what you're going to see is a big rise in the electrolyte if, if the battery is discharged. So at that point, after you're done charging, you'll finish topping off the the battery with uh, with water. Again, make sure it's down below the neck. If you have a look inside here, you can see that, that there's a neck that runs about three quarters of an inch down into the battery. So if the, the levels are above that, they're up into the neck, you're going to get acid pumping out and it's going to run out and, and make a mess of your, your cart or whatever the, the battery is in. So, uh, so in general, that's, that's, you know, watering a battery. Again, uh, Remember that the, the gases coming off of a battery are explosive and corrosive, so, so you don't want any sparks or open flames around the battery after you've been charging it, um, because you can't get an explosion. Uh, again, you can leave the caps on. There, there's vents, systems in here are designed to trap the water and drip back into the battery, so if, if you charge it with the caps off, you're going to get electrolyte loss out of there. Uh, that's pretty much on uh, on the maintenance of the, uh, the deep cycle battery. On a daily basis. And folks, this battery, this particular battery, obviously is out of the cart. Uh, you can do all of this maintenance uh, while the battery is still in the cart. Um, and, and it makes it quite simple. These caps are fantastic from US battery. Um, very easy on off. And um, very, very user friendly. So thank you very much, Randy. That was very informative today.
And anybody has any questions, feel free to email Kevin at CanadianEnergyEast.ca or give us a call here at Canadian Energy 965-1837.